multitasking doesn't work. And I think the phrase you used was something along the lines of the, the faster you go, the slower the output, something like that. Maybe I'm butchering that one, but maybe you can give that breakdown as well. Sure. Um, so this goes all the way back to the mid 1990s when um, Dr. Goldberg, who was my mentor, he's the creator of Theory of Constraints, um, started getting organizations to ask, well, can this Theory of Constraints apply to project management? So if you think about flow, flow really has two dimensions. There's flow rate, so how much I can do, and there's flow time, how long it takes me to do stuff. And if you ask most project managers, you know, why are their projects often late and over budget? What they will essentially do is they'll give you a list of reasons that all boils down to the world is not perfect. You know, there's uncertainty, resources are not available when promised. There's priorities that constantly change, et cetera. And Dr. Goldberg's discovery was that actually it's not the fact that there's uncertainty and variability. Of course, you have to always deal with that, but it's the fact that when we buffer for it, we end up wasting it. And one of the biggest ways of wasting our scarcest resource, our limited time and attention is when we multitask. So the example that I can share with the viewers and the listeners is I want you to imagine that you have three projects that you have to complete or three tasks, A, B, and C. And each of these tasks are 10 days long. Now you can do them one by one, which means in total, it'll take you 30 days to complete it. 10 days to do A, you know, another 10 days to do B, so you'll complete B by time 20, and another 10 days to do C, so you'll complete C by time 20. But of course, what happens in reality is often these tasks or projects are for different customers. So they want us to give their project or task the highest priority, and they want us to start it as soon as possible. Now, how do you make that decision? It's, it's a very difficult decision to make. So what we try to do is we have this heuristic that says you, you should be fair, right? So do all of them at the same time to make equal progress. So if you think about that, you do a little bit of A and then you switch over to B and then you switch over to C and then you do a little bit of A again and a little bit of B and C and so you continue. And if there was no switching losses, right? So if there was no cost to switch from A to B, you should be able to complete all the work in the same amount of time, in 30 days. But there's a profound difference is that A, B, and C will all now take about 30 days to complete. Whereas previously the highest priority project or task you could have completed in 10 days. The second highest one you could have completed in 20 days. So even if there was no switching losses, which we know there is, then multitasking, trying to do multiple things at the same time is still a really, really bad idea. And the fundamental assumption that we have to challenge when we switch from multitasking to single tasking is what you had hinted about is we assume that the sooner I start something, the sooner I will finish something. And this is often the case when we manage complexity, we use a set of rules that work in a simple case and we assume it will always work and it causes local optimization. So the sooner I start something, the sooner I finish it, this is absolutely true if I'm doing one thing. But as soon as I do two or three things or more, then that, that, that assumption no longer holds. So I want you to imagine that those three boxes, right? A, B, C, each of them are 10 days long. If I started B later, I didn't start it as soon as possible. I only started it once I've completed A. I will start it at time 11 and I will finish it at time 20. In the example where we were multitasking, we are constantly switching. So I'm starting B basically as soon as possible, maybe even after day one, right? I do a day of A and then I switch over to B. I work on B for a day. So I'm starting B on day two, but I will end up finishing it on day 28. So what we learn from this example is the later I start, the sooner I finish. And this is a massive swift 
shift in the way that we think about how do we complete any type of work, you know, whether it's your simple to-do list that you are going through or whether it's a massive portfolio of projects. So multitasking is a really bad idea. Everything takes longer. You get much less done as a result because costs are obviously often associated with time. It costs you much more than what you expected. And you also much, make much more mistakes because if the mind goes into this multitasking mode, it's almost chaotic and you just end up you know, making more mistakes.